What do we think? Well, first of all, I'm very excited, and I'm very proud. Um, we played five games against Georgia, and all of them are one-run games. And we kept telling our kids, somebody's going to find a way, somebody's going to find a way. And we really erupted when we needed it. It was a team victory. It was a senior-led victory. Our senior leadership has been amazing these last few weeks. And uh, our pitching and defense were as strong as ever. And our hitting just needed a little time to come around, but I think that might have been Arabella. That's a very strong performance that she put, up, put on out there. And uh, I give a lot of credit to Georgia. They're a great team, and as I said two days ago, I think both of us are World Series teams, but thank goodness it's us. Coach, can you talk about the swap in the batting order, um, switching uh, Dotson and Gibson? Well, I just wanted to try to make something happen. Gibson is a, an amazing hitter. And uh, I just wanted to put her up there a little bit and free her up out of those RBI situations that she seemed to be finding her way into. And we had made a decision yesterday that Dottie was going to hit away, not slap. So it worked really good putting Dottie in that five slot. But sometimes when you're not scoring, I mean, I didn't come up with that. It's been around since the turn of the last century, but you changed the lineup, and it worked out a little bit. In your, in your pitching, obviously, um, Ellen hadn't thrown a complete game in a while. She allowed only one run, and then Ivy came in the second game and, and closed it out. Can you talk about the way you're pitching? Well, I think it was fantastic, and what I'm really proud of is sometimes we've had some trouble closing out games, and with so much at stake in this game in the sixth and seventh inning, I believe Ivy put them down one, two, three, one, two, three, which was fantastic. Shelby, you always say the players ahead of you have got to get on. Can you talk about Lauren Gibson's play to load the bases? The he she could have run through that and created you know, an easy force out, but she got the second baseman all flustered with that play. Just talk about the how that changed momentum for you guys. Yeah, she just did a great job. She's a great um, base runner um, regardless, and she just did a really good job of trying her best to either get in a pickle and not have a double play turned or just – um, to just make something happen, and um, for us it did. And she's just a great um, base runner, and that was really fortunate for us. You, I think you swung at the first pitch. I mean, were you ready? Bases loaded. You guys hadn't scored in 12 innings. Were you ready to get somebody across that plate? Um, yes. I think any hitter, obviously, in that position would want to. Um, but I, I kind of um, knew, in a sense, what was coming at that point. So I just want, tried to stay, keep my head on it and just hit it and do what I could for my team. It looked like there was a. Did you conference one with one of the coaches before the at bat? It looked like you talked to someone right before the at bat, and you, you looked like you were giving some pretty confident head shakes. Was there advice going on, or were you just letting them know everything was going to be all right? Because you looked pretty comfortable going to the plate. Um, kind of just a little pump up. It wasn't. It wasn't anything groundbreaking or anything like that. Just you know, you you can do it. You've been in the situation before. Um, just reassurance on both ends, and just um, trying not to get too excited, but excited at the same time. Uh, because it was a big, you know, a big deal at that point. I didn't know what was coming and what was coming. <laughs> no, I, I didn't know what was coming, but they um, had pitched me somewhat at the same pitches all day and had had successfully gotten me out. So um, I wasn't guessing by any means, but I just had a good idea of what I needed to look for. Cat, as you're tracking down that foul ball for out number three, what's going through your mind as you're as you're running into foul territory? Just catch the ball, <laughs> no matter where it is or. What I have to go through to catch it, just catch the ball to get the pressure off my pitchers and not to pitch to Brittany Hubbard again. So. Ivy, you were under a lot of pressure. Tennessee, 12, 12 innings today before they score. What was your mindset? Just keep keep mowing them down and keep that score as close as you could? Yeah, and me and Ashley talked, we were like, it's hard to say this, but it's just another game, another SEC game. That's what you have to like really say in your mind. You can't put all that. Super Regionals, going to World Series. Oh, my goodness, you can't think about all that. The hug between you and your sister after the game, what, that that was an emotional hug. What was that all about? I mean, just because we've been through so much together. We know how it feels to pitch um, to Georgia and just to tough teams. And um, so just to go to the World Series together, and it's just, I don't know, a lot of work goes into it. Shelby, after the first game, I think you only had two hits. What? What do the what do the hitters say to one another? I mean, it, you guys kind of look dead in the water after that first game. I mean, how did you keep each other pumped up? Um, we just we after every bat we talk to each other and we we tell each other what we saw and um, kind of things we wanted to do and we we talk with the coaches and um, we kind of just try to get a fresh angle any way we can and uh, making any way we can make it happen. Um, but we just we stay really positive. We know that most of the time the game's not going to win on just one swing or one hit. Um, 
So just keeping having good at bats, not not getting frustrated, not getting flustered, just having faith in each other. Was it a matter of, was it a matter of solving Arabella today? Because she looked like she was spotting her pitches and had just about everything working. It appeared. Yeah, she she's a great pitcher. Obviously, um, they're a great team as well. Um, but it was just getting that hit at the, at the time we needed it, and um, just stay sticking with our game plan, obviously, and just doing it together. Cat, when you went up to bat and there's a runner on third. One out. What was your approach to that at bat? Get it out of the infield, absolutely. Yeah, I was trying to get a good um, outside pitch that could just hit hard and lift to the outfield deep enough so Lauren could get in because she has great speed. So just to hit something hard and deep. Ralph, you, you your team put the fans through a lot the last two weekends, <laughs> didn't they? <laughs> our team put us through a lot, including our team. No, we just, uh, you know, they are really good players, and we just had a adjustment talk it, between the two games and they were all very positive and, and we just knew we were going to get it done but she was like I said she was pitching really really well and one of the things we're looking at now is you're going to have the Eastern Division champion of the SEC and the Western Division champion of the SEC playing in the first round of the World Series so that's pretty amazing. Final question. Coach this is your fifth time going to the College World Series since you've taken over this program. What's been the secret to your success and into continuously winning? Well, I'll tell you very simply, it's recruiting and fundamentals. You have to have the athletes. I always say all the time, you don't win the Kentucky Derby with a plow horse, and that's been the secret. We've had great athletes. All right.